Hi, this is Halal. In this video on Mathematical Economics series, we will discuss about Jacobian. Now, a Jacobian determinant permits testing for functional dependence of linear and non-linear system of equations. So, this uh, Jacobian determinant helps us to test whether the linear equations or non-linear system of equations have a functional de dependence or not. So, for that, we use the Jacobian determinant. So, the Jacobian uh, determinant that is denoted by this uh, this very symbol uh, is composed of all the first or partial derivatives of a system of equations. That is, this is composed of, is composed of, composed of all, all the first order, first order, order partial derivatives uh, partial derivatives derivatives of a system of uh, system of equations equations arranged in a or uh, arranged uh, I will write here arranged in Ordered sequence. Ordered sequence. Now, what does this mean? If we are given a system of uh, equations, let us say y one is equal to that is f of x one, x two, x three, and another one is y two uh, is equal to that is f2 x1 x2 and x3 and another system another equation is given as y3 is equal to f of 3 that is x1 x2 and x3 if we are given these system of equations now uh, the jacobian is uh, denoted by that is uh, that is denoted by this very so I will write here actually this Jacobian is the Jacobian determinant is given as that is uh, the partial derivatives d uh, y1 d y2 d y3 divided by uh, d x1 d x2 d x3 which is equal to which is a matrix composed of that is is equal to d y1 divided by d x1 similarly d y1 divided by d x2 and d y1 divided by d x3 similarly for this this is d y2 divided by d x1 d y2 divided by d x2 and d y2 divided by d x3 similarly for this we have uh, d y3 divided by d x1 that is d y3 divided by d x2 and d y3 divided by d x3 so this jacobian determinant is composed of all the partial derivatives of the system of equations arranged in an ordered sequence that is this uh, dy this is the partial derivative of this function first function with respect to one independent variable that is x1 similarly dy1 divided by dx2 means uh, partially differentiating this equation with respect to x2 similarly dy1 divided by dx3 means partially differentiating this equation with respect to uh, this variable third variable x3 similar is case with this here uh, dy2 means and this equation means differentiating partially this uh, equation with respect to x1 first then x2 and 
then x3 so we get a determinant which is composed of all the partial derivatives of the system of equations arranged in a order sequence so there is an order uh, here now we can here notice that each row uh, here each uh, rows are the partial derivatives partial derivatives of one function that is yi here with respect to each of the independent variables here x1 x2 and x3 similarly here uh, it is also this second um, row is composed of all the partial derivatives of y2 with respect to the ind uh, independent variables x1 x2 and x3 similar cases with this the third uh, row is composed uh, is uh, composed of the partial derivatives of this third equation uh, with respect to the independent variables x1 x2 and x3 so rows are the partial derivatives of any equation any of the equations with respect to its independent variables okay and each here we can see that each of the functions here or uh, if we see on the uh, column axis here we have we are here we have elements of each columns or the partial derivatives of each of the functions y1 y2 and y3 with respect to one independent variable that is uh, the uh, the columns here are the partial derivatives of each of the functions that is function first second third uh, with respect to one of the independent variables so here uh, this column is uh, uh, depicts the partial di uh, partially differentiating each of the equations with the independent variable x1 similarly this column uh, depicts the partial derivative of each of the these functions with respect to the independent variable one way independent variable that is x2 here and similar is case with this one uh, this third column uh, is the function of that is the third column is composed of the partial derivatives of equation first second third with respect to one independent variable that is here x3 now if the determinant if the uh, this jacobian determinant j is equal to zero if uh, when solving this uh, if this comes out to be zero then the equations are functionally dependent implies equations are equations are functionally functionally dependent and if uh, this uh, this jacobian determinant is not equal to zero then we say that the equations are functionally independent we say equations are equations are functionally functionally independent independent sorry for the background noise. background noise i am not able to control the uh, environmental variables here so this was all about the jacobian determinant which is a determinant composed of all the partial derivatives of a system of equations arranged in a ordered sequence so in next video we will give a numerical and it will be very easy to understand so for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share if you like this video thank you